So let's look at how to add permanent storage to our to-dos app. So of course you can use a database, but for this example, let's just use the local storage API that holds key value pairs so we can persist our to-dos when we refresh the page. So you can read more on MDN about local storage, so you can learn more about it here if you want. So yeah, let's go back to our example. So the awesome thing in Svelte is that we can implement this in basically two lines of code. So if we go here, we basically don't need our placeholder anymore. So we can parse the value. So we can say JSON parse because everything in local storage is saved as a string and we're going to save an array of items. So we need to serialize them, which is just fancy computer science speak for turning things into a string. Yeah, so we say local storage, get item so we say what key we want get item to do's and as i show in this example we can get the to do's but if the to do's don't exist so our app doesn't explode we can use the nullish coalescing operator and we can say it should be an empty array if it doesn't exist so next we can use a reactive block statement right here we can go here and then we can create the block and here we can set the item and we're going to do it each time to do's change. I'm going to say to do's and then we have to serialize it. JSON stringify to do's. So of course, like all other reactive properties, since we're passing to do's here, it's going to rerun this each time to do's updates. But we're also going to add our own store. But yeah, let's first look at examples. So this should work. Let me just close this because we don't need it. So let me show you. So this is what I had before. And for example, if I remove these items, you can see there's nothing here. And if we go to the application, local storage for localhost, you can see there's other things here, but let's just clear everything and let's refresh it again. So we can see there's nothing inside. So we assign it an empty array and then let's add things. And we can see one, two, three, four, and it's being updated here. And that's awesome. You can see it serialized it and then we deserialize it. And it even remembers when we complete a to-do. So let's refresh and hope everything works. Awesome. Okay, so let me scroll down here. So here's an example of a store. And if you're familiar with React, this might look very similar to React hooks. So let's create a store. So we're going to go to the source. I'm going to create a new file so we can create the folder. We're going to name it stores, new storage ds. So first I'm going to show you a version without type so you don't freak out at generics. And then I'm going to even explain generics if you want. So we have to import a writable from the Svelte store. And then we're going to create a use storage function that is going to take the key and the initial value. And then we're going to return the store. So you can say export function, use storage, key, initial value. And then we can just make this easier. We can say serialize is JSON stringify and deserialize is JSON parse. So we need to get the stored value. So stored value, we need to deserialize it. Local storage, get item, and the key. Because we can create many stores, right? It's not just for to-dos, so you can reuse this. So this is where we create the writable. So our store is going to be the stored value. I notice that I need to fix this. That's the stored value. So if the stored value exists, then return the stored value. Otherwise, use the initial value what you passed, right? And here is the important part. So we need to subscribe to the store so we can update the local storage each time it updates. So you can say store subscribe value local storage set the item to the key we want and then we should serialize the value. So you can serialize value. And then we just need to return the store. Now let's save it. So yeah, now let's show you the TypeScript version, which isn't that different. So first we're going to import the writable type from Svelte. 
right about from swell store so because we can pass anything to the use storage we have no idea what type of data is the user going to pass in so we don't have any type safety right so generics are just variables for type so for example we can say value and then we can say that the key should always be a string but the initial value of what the user pass is going to be of type value right and the return type is going to be a writable that's also a generic and it's going to return a value and also for the stored value we're going to say its value so this might be really confusing to you if you don't know typescript or even if you know typescript generics might be hard to wrap your head around but just know that this is just a variable for types and anything you pass in is going to be the type so we can get type safety so for example this value can be anything so the user can pass let's say a string banana they can pass an object that's banana they can pass an array of bananas i don't know for some reason <laughs> if they want right so we're going to see how generics are awesome in a second so yeah let's just save that and if i scroll here we have to update it to do swelth so up here we're going to import use storage and we get awesome autocomplete thank you TypeScript. and now instead of this let me just remove this we can say let to do's and we don't have to specify a type here because we're going to get it from our generic so we can say use storage and before we do anything let's give it the key so here's the key to do's and initialize it with an empty array and here is where generics come into play so since we know the type it's going to be to do's we can type a generic i to do but it's not just a single to do it's an array of them but because we're using a store now to do's won't work unless we use a reactive value from the store so we need to change all the to do's instances with a dollar sign value and also for the type we can see here it's a writable of i to do and that's why generics are awesome so yeah so let's change the rest of the code with the dollar sign to do's so let's say dollar sign dollar sign let's change it here so to see in the add to do let's say to do's total completed we have to change it to do's here because when we use uh, this syntax svelte is going to automatically subscribe and unsubscribe for us so this is really handy so complete to do's we have to pass it here also for remove to do let's see now the edit to do also includes a to do here and clear completed is the only one where we have to edit okay awesome so let's save it and yeah this should work so if we go here it should work as before but now for example if you select or put it out yeah awesome it's working so you can say one two three four and we can even check them make sure it works and awesome congrats so that's how simple it is to implement your own store and i have an assignment for you so since we're using a store we can define and export the to-dos from there so we can collocate more things inside of each component because we no longer have to keep the to-do state in the parent so as an assignment, I want you to clean up the code if you're up for it. I leave this up to you as an exercise, dear viewer.